All right, lads, welcome back to me podcast, Cheaper Than Therapy. Mick Thomas here. Cheers for checking in. Cheers for listening. Cheers for subscribing. Uh, the old Mick Thomas train is moving on. The numbers are growing nicely, way more than I deserve. Way more people are listening to this show than they should be. I don't know if it's because of my dumb rants or because of the, uh, the, the interesting and funny guests I have on here. And speaking of guests, joining me on this episode is my buddy, very funny comic, Mr. Kenny Ryan. All right, Kenny, how are you? I'm good, Mick. How you doing? Not too bad, pal. Cheers for joining me. I appreciate that. I feel like this is a good time to break it to you that I made 675 accounts and followed you on each one of them <laughs> on your podcast. <laughs> so there, that explains this is a good time. Numbers. I figured that was good timing to tell you right that and that. Isn't that fraud? <laughs> <laughs> like if I try to sell this show to a network, well, I've got, as of right now, there's thousands of listeners. And they go, yeah, well... Half of those are Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> He's obsessed with making Yahoo accounts. Yeah, yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Fuck, imagine how exhausting that is to make that many oh, accounts. Dude, I, everything is exhausting when it comes to things like that. I dude, I, that. I know a girl and she's been stalked, like online stalking, where I had to kind of reach out to a friend of mine to help her in the FBI. Like, yeah, Mick Thomas got friends everywhere. And... uh he, you know, and every time she blocks him and reports him, he creates another account. And, and I just think like, how fucking exhausting is that? Like, yeah, to go like, log on, get an email, confirm. Wait, how is he not going to jail for that? Is that not illegal? Well, I asked my friend from the FBI. I was like, hey, is this illegal? Like, is it just cyberbullying? Where the point where they go, ah, just fucking plug out your computer. It's not bullying when you can just turn it off. Um... And I guess that's kind of true, though, in a sense. Just turn it off. But you really can't anymore. Yeah, no, no, you can't. And he, he lives in, like, different states, a different state than she does. And the laws over here are different. So I just kind of, like, it's not my business, man. I was just kind of helping out. You know what I mean? I'm not a white knight. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not fucking getting involved. In You're getting in trouble on Facebook as it is. So what the yeah. fuck are you going to do? Fuck it. I get enough shit as <laughs> it is. So I'm like, you know, I'm not, you know what? Fuck it. My FBI friend said it's illegal. He said, go to the cops. That's all I can do. Um, but yeah, man, just the thought of how exhausting that must be to go ahead and create, create accounts. Like you, you must be a real piece of shit. Oh, you know what I mean? I've had ones where it's like, you have to go back to your email to confirm it and then come back to the website. And I'm like, you know what? After a second thought, I don't really fucking need this. I'm not, (laughs) I'm not doing it all. I'm like, fuck it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Yeah. You know, it's funny because on my phone, like I'm one of those weird, weird I guess it's a form of OCD where, you know, you get a, a dot on your phone, like a red dot on your phone, like, hey, you got a text message or even on, on an unopened email, right? I will I will um, go on to my email and if there's one on there, I don't give a shit. Like, I know it's from a cruise line trying to get me to go on a cruise. I'll go, I'm not, I'll, I'll open my email. But right now I'm like, there's fucking 600 unanswered emails. They're not from clubs. Nobody's offering me work right now. So I'm like, Fuck yeah, I know. What are you going to be opening yeah. for? Why am I going in there? Why do I give a shit? Right. So I just like thought of like, it's just the hassle that it is for me to click in and type in my password again. I'm like, oh, fuck that. Dude, I'm the, and well, the, the iPhones that you like, it saves your passwords. I'm like, that's perfect. Like, and everyone's like, well, someone could steal it. If, what if they have your fingerprint? I'm like, what is the mafia coming after me? They're going to hold me on the ground and use my fingerprint <laughs> so they could see the 8975 in my bank account? What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, shit, man. It's fucking ridiculous. It is ridiculous. I'm like that, too, though. I can't have the numbers. Like where the email thing is, like when I look at people's phones and it's like 2,000 unopened emails, I'm like, you know you're not cool, right? Like everybody knows that's fucking spam. Get oh, rid of it. Fuck me. I used to panic. I, I would come out after a show and someone would like, oh, can you show me how to subscribe to your podcast? And I go, yeah, yeah, sure. And instead of explaining it, because I'm not a tech guy, ask anybody who's done this show with me. I am not a tech guy. You don't even have the accent for it. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I just, yeah, this is the wrong accent for technical support. If you answer to technical support, I'd be like, you know what, fuck it. I'm just going to throw it away. <laughs> yeah, I want to speak to an Indian guy, you piece of shit. <laughs> I, uh, but I, I would hold their phone. Like, it's probably like, a, like an older person. And I go, yeah, I'm going sh- to subscribe to the podcast right now for you. And I pick it up and I see 10,926 emails unopened. I go, fucking get away from me. Oh, get I hate away it. From I me. hate it, dude. I hate it. Like, 
That and like weird emails. If I, even at work, like if I'm hiring somebody and I'm like, I need your email and it's AIM, I'm like, we're not having you back. We're not having you back. <laughs> like, what, you got an AIM account? I'm like, no, you're not work material. Yeah, yeah. You, you've never, you sure, you're just showing that evolution doesn't work for you. Yeah, you've never even been fired. You just stop showing up to work. <laughs> you don't put your two weeks in or nothing. <laughs> oh, lazy motherfuckers. Um, happy Easter, by the way. Happy Easter. Yeah, happy Easter. Happy ha- Easter. Our Passovers. Is that still going on? Right? I don't, you know, Mick, I, I mean, I'm, I grew up Catholic. I made my confirmation, which to me is like graduating. I right. never went back. You know what no, I mean? No, like, yeah, you're like me. I don't get that about, you know, church in general. I was like, I made my confirmation. Like, you still have to go every Sunday. I'm like, nah, I graduated. I don't, I don't have to go back anymore. So, yeah, I was talking to my daughter today. She was asking me all about it. Um, you know, she was like, who's the guy that, how did he tell on Jesus? Like, how did he rat him out? <laughs> And then I was like, yeah. And all this stuff came out that I didn't know. I, I forgot I knew. I'm like, yeah, you know, in the Garden of Gethsemane, uh, Jesus was there with all these apostles. And all of a sudden, the Romans were surrounded. And this guy, Judas, Judas said to the Roman, like, hey, whichever one I kiss is going to be the one is going to be Jesus. So they're like, all right. And I'm sure back then it wasn't cool to be. Maybe it was cool to be gay back then. Well, I thought like when even when you go back to like the Roman era, like I thought that was like a normal thing. Like everybody was bi pretty much. Yeah, yeah, they loved the boys back then. Yeah, they so I think boys. it's gone back a long time when it comes to that. Yeah, yeah, so but I, my daughter It's not like, something I've studied up on though, so I don't know. Yeah, you know. man. Fuck I I used to love like I loved uh all this shit, all this history and stuff, you know what I mean? Like especially I loved the Bible even though I don't believe in any of it now, but I loved the stories of the Bible. Like they were just so fucking fascinating to me. And, uh, but now, yeah, there you are in Easter morning. Like, the fuck? Like, you got to get up and put eggs out just for kids who don't believe in shit. Like, I know. That's the funniest thing about it, though, is the, everybody running around. Because like, I'm down here in South Carolina, so it's a cul-de-sac. So everybody's running around looking for eggs and shit. I'm like, <laughs> that's going to be a terrible way to get Corona. I was looking for an egg, and I found Corona. Yeah, yeah. That's not, that's not how you want to get it. Like, you understand, like, if you hear of a nurse gets it or a doctor gets it, you're like, oh, look at that hero. Like, what did you do? I, I was getting eggs from underneath the mailbox. Yeah, box. I was getting an egg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting a plastic egg from under a bush. It's like, dude, you're 38 years old. What are you talking about? Do you know I was talk- I was helping my kids this morning with that shit, and I was thinking of my, my Easter bit that I do, um, and uh, I forgot how the bit goes. Like, that's what's worrying me about being away. Like, I'm forgetting my bits now. I'm like, yeah, f-. like if I had to do a show tomorrow, could I – go back up and just start doing like let's say i wasn't a hack and i wasn't honest right because you know you you can't just go up and address not address the fucking two-month elephant hiatus yeah i know i mean that's (laughs) how was anybody gonna start a joke it's like you're full of shit no you weren't yeah 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 you didn't go there you weren't at that place (laughs) what the so i was at blah blah blah. yeah yeah just you weren't do the same joke the other four guys did and just get the fuck out of here I know, um, even like when you go and do a benefit and there's like a bunch of different comics, it's like, fuck, can we pick out of a hat? Because I don't want to go fifth or sixth. It's yeah, gonna be, yeah. Everyone's going to do the same shit. That's what's going to be, man. And it's it's like, but I was worried. Like, I fucking forgot my bits. Like, I forgot. And then I was rewriting it in my head. You know what I mean? I was like, I was trying to do it a bit in my head. And then it was like, you know, yeah. And then fucking you throw an egg out. And it's like, and then a cat takes one of them. I'm like, that, I didn't say that. In my original <laughs> bit, am I rewriting shit now? This is bullshit. I do think, though, once you get back up on stage, I think it'll just come right back. Yeah, I, 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 I do. It's a lot like sports and, and working out and shit like that. It's just a, it's a mental muscle for you. I think, I think as soon as you start going, it's just going to come right back. And that's what I'm hoping on. So, yeah, I got like I got a bunch of my shit recorded, especially the newer stuff. Anyway, the old, the older stuff is kind of on two albums that I could just ugh, dig up and listen. But the uh, the newer shit is all recorded somewhere. I mean, I'll, I'll get back to it. It's fine. It's like I'm looking. You know, maybe maybe I'll never get back to it again. I don't know. Maybe it'll just be new new shit. So I'll be fine yeah. Sometimes it. it's I found an iPod since I'm at my dad's. I found an iPod that I had from like 12 years ago, and I guess I used the notes to write jokes on. And I went back and read them, and I was like, wow. I wish. So yeah. you were, what even made you think that you could possibly <laughs> have any type of career in this? Like, it didn't even make – some of it I was like, I can't even make out this word, and it's typed. How is that possible? Is my spelling that bad that I don't know what this word says, and it's typed? Yeah, my, mine is – my notes are full of uh, – because I'll walk – I'll drive along, and I'll say – I don't want to say it now in case it kicks in my technology. I'll – 
I'll yell out like, you know, H-E-Y-S-I-R-I, if that's how I spell it right. And I yell that and my phone just goes beep, beep. And I go, can I take a note? And he goes, yeah, sure. And I'll say the note as I'm driving on. Like, all right, does that jo- I wrote that joke now. Or I wrote that premise while I was driving. But then what will happen is I'll go back and read it two days later. And because of my accent, the phone totally said something different. <laughs> I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? And was I even talking? Number one, it's not funny. But number two, I don't even know what I was saying. That's how I've had those moments where I wake up and I look at my notes after a, a night of throwing them back. And I'm like, what? the fuck yeah, man. no commas no periods no capitals no nothing i'm like what the fuck was i talking about you know i always fantasize about uh because i'm a big stones fan a big keith richards fan and uh his autobiography to me is one of the best books i've ever written for entertainment and 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 education right and i uh so i he, there's a chapter in there where he said he woke up one morning and uh the lyrics to angie was written Right, just written on the piece of paper next to him. And like Angie's a fucking great song. And that song went to number one. I was like, wouldn't that be great? You just woke up and then, you know, this bit is there like, dude, you gotta hear Kenny Ryan's new bit about fucking motorcycles. I'm just saying that because I can see a motorcycle. And, like, <laughs> and they're like, really? Oh, it's fucking just, it's going to go down in history as one of the best bits. And I always fantasize about, basically my fantasy is I'm just lazy. I wake up and want the best special written for me. On oh, a, of course. On a, on of a course. yellow leaf. <laughs> on a, I, watched, yellow. I watched that Beatles movie um, yesterday. Yesterday, and I was like, oh, man, like, why, why couldn't this happen to me? And no one ever knew who Bill Burr was. I could do Bill Burr. <laughs> I swear to God, man, that I had that same, that idea for the movie with the Beatles and everything years and years ago with my friend Tommy. I said, wouldn't it be great if you just woke up one day and nobody knew who to be? And he was like, yeah, that'd be a good movie. He's like, right? And because I just have no drive to go, like, let me write that down. That's a movie. Like, the amount of movie ideas I've had in my head. There's another movie that came out that I was like, that's my fucking, idea. that's my idea. And people are writing to me now when a movie comes out. I go, isn't that your idea? And I, that's I, crazy. It's fu- I remember one time when, do you remember when the Pope quit? Like, the, the Nazi Pope. Yes. Right? Remember, like, you had Pope. John II died, right? And then the Nazi Pope came along. And then he quit. And then this new cool Pope came along. But I remember when he... It was like a complete 180. Like, it was like... Like, when the new Pope came in, it was like having a substitute teacher in school. You're yeah, like, oh, yeah, this yeah. This is dope. This yeah, is he, dope. He, he We're definitely like, watching movies today. He was like, there's no hell, guys. Do what the fuck you <laughs> yeah, like. It's all yeah. right. He's like, hey, you like to dibble with dick? That's all good. Don't <laughs> worry about all right. it. You're you know, good. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> we got a warehouse full of cash back here. Why are we Yeah, they didn't give it. They're like, they're great for fashion. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> I go to work every day in a robe. What am I going to say? Yeah, it ain't. Yeah, ain't give a shit. <laughs> Like you ever see Jesus's hair and beard, and he wears white after Labor Day? I'm like, he's he had gay friends. There's yeah, no yeah, question yeah. in that. <laughs> but I, uh, so I came up with this idea, and I wrote it down. It was long before him, long before him. And the idea, and I had a TV show which I had, I wrote out, and the, the characters. I wrote the first episode, and it was a mockumentary, like a fake reality show, and it was called The Next Pope. And basically, what it was was twelve popes who were picked to live in a house, and each week. Like, it was going to be the first sitcom where the audience could actually vote off a character from the Like sitcom. Big Brother for Popes? Yeah, can you imagine, though, like a, a sitcom where you could call up and go, you know what, I want Rachel and Ross gone. Uh, Fucking that- sick of them. The, Sheldon from the big band, get the fuck out. I don't want them there anymore. I wish you could do that for all shows. Now you just have to wait until they fuck up on Twitter, and then you're like, all right, now yeah, we're just yeah, yeah. until now, they're gone. Now they got to say, like, yeah, Giz, what's the point? Right, get out yeah, of yeah. here, right? You're going after Ellen now. I thought Ellen was untouchable. What now did Ellen shit's do? Not- she like posted something from her house. She was like, oh, it's like a prison being stuck at home. And everybody was like, started posting pictures of her mansion. And we're like, oh, poor you. What a fucking prison you live in. Yeah, but you know what it is too, man? Like in, 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 in Ellen's defense was the first time I'd ever thought I'd say that. Uh, it's like, it, it's, that's your surrounding, man, right? That's your surrounding. And after a while, it just becomes like, it's. I think it's just the idea that you're told to stay there. It's not the fact that, you know what I mean? Like, oh, no, I have a mansion. I got to go fucking swimming now or I got to go play basketball or I didn't know I had this room. Right. Like, I, I get that. But it's like it's it's just the fact that I think in her defense that people are told you can't go anywhere. And that's what it is. Not like 
I just don't think. Well, you got to also think, I mean, how many people are such a pain in the ass that all they do is bitch and fucking complain. Now those people don't have that six or seven hours out of the day where they got to work and shut the fuck up and not bitch and complain. So now you're just adding extra hours on for people who bitch and complain. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You know, when you really think about it, it's like, oh, fuck off. It's not what she meant. You know what I mean? Everybody's now mad at celebrities and this and that. Oh, well, they're wealthy. It's like, what the fuck are they supposed to do? Not be wealthy anymore because it's just not cool right now? Yeah, man. I, I, I think I am glad a little bit that celebrities kind of, not that they, like, I don't want them to, to, uh, to fucking, I never say, ha, ha, they should lose everything, right? That's not, that's never been my point. But my always point was like, listen, you shut the fuck up and entertain me. That's it. How about this? You entertain me. Uh, I will make sure that TMZ doesn't bother you at the airport. So you can go and fucking have a sandwich and take a shit in public without anybody bothering you. Like, that's just your job. Go make that movie. Go get on this thing, that song. Go fucking write that book, right? Just th- go play that game. That's your job. I'll leave you alone if you just shut the fuck up trying to change the world. Because nobody gives a shit. Now you've got fucking, now I think like the doctors and nurses, and I feel like a hack kind of get on, you know, the bandwagon of doctors and nurses. Um, But yeah, let's not give the man of the year award to a fucking celebrity. That's, yeah, no, you're absolutely right. I mean, I mean, it's, and that's the thing is like the essential, right? That's what I love seeing now. I'm like. All these people who, even in, in, in other jobs, uh, these CEOs and all these people, it's like, you're not, they're not fucking essential. Yeah, you're like, not. This is what's insane. You know who's more important than you right now is the person who works the drive through at fucking McDonald's. They're oh, yeah. essential. And you're not. So fuck off. Yeah, you're not fit. You're, you're on your golden throne under the golden arches of McDonald's. And you are, not, look, what decisions can you make? Let's close the door. Done. That's it. That's all you can do now. Yeah. Does and I love that. I, I kind of like I, – look, I don't like anything about this. Don't get me wrong. But the whole even playing – like everyone's like, well, when this is done, what happens? I'm like, I, you know, what, what happens with comedy? What happens with this? I'm like, well, first of all, first person to the table fucking eats, right? Every, it's kind of even playing field other than like, you know, your Bill Burrs, your Jerry Seinfelds, all those big names. But for everybody else, it's kind of like an equal playing field right now. Like we, we see who's going to come back, see who's not going to come back. Like it's a whole different – situation you know we'll see who'll come back man and here's all here's my and i could be wrong right um and i've said this a bunch of times and a lot of comics don't agree with me some i'll only say some do a lot don't but i think now is the time to be a good comic because when you get back if you're not fucking good man you're like why would i put you when i say you as a hypothetical of course not kenny ryan but why would i put you on the stage right and leave, say, I'm going to say off the top of my head, some of my favorite comics like Dan Natterman or Brian McFadden, those fucking like really, really funny joke writers, right? So why should I take this fucking douchebag from Long Island who just does these shitty fucking jokes about quarantine, right? The same old shit about homeschooling and you know what I mean? Like all that kind of shit. Why would we put you on our stage when we could have uh, um, a, a, a Brian McFadden. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, no, I, so and, I, and I also think it, it, a lot of the the bookers, the owners, you know, a lot of a lot of them. I think, especially the, you know, the first month, the first two months, I think they're gonna they're gonna really pay attention yes. to what the comics are saying, yep. who's laughing at them. Yep. Because you're not gonna, you know, you're not gonna just pack the house anymore. Like this whole, you know, you're going to people are going to be a little bit weary. So you're going to have to fucking people are going to be like, yo, I'm not coming back. That you had eight comics. Four of them were good. Four of them were shit. But I think you're going to see these owners and these bookers finally start to be like, all right, let's see who's really fucking good and who's bullshit off of this whole thing. But the problem is a lot of comics think because they're friends with the bookers and stuff like that can't fly anymore. Not saying it won't, by the way, but like, let's say we'll take the comic strip, for example, right? Uh, I'm not going to mention the booker who books that place because everyone will fucking swamp him or her with emails. Um, but let's say, you know, I like to consider, I like to think I'm liked there, right? So let's say all of a sudden, uh, because I get on very well with the booker, I don't think, and, I, and this is out of 100% on the booker's side when I say this, I don't want the booker to go, Nick's a nice guy, let's put him up. I don't think these these comedy clubs have the luxury no. anymore, man. They got to go, I got to put... I got to have an audience member sit in that chair and laugh from start to finish with no lull points, no low moments of that podcast. 
of not pod, of that this comedy show. So on um, for a while, I just think, I look, I just think it'll separate the men from the boys. I don't mean that as a fucking from a fem- no, I get no it. Females, because, uh, well, the other be, thing, I mean, as, speech. as you know, I I know what the you know from running a, a bar in Manhattan, like you know these these comedy clubs are now three, four, who knows how long, but say they're three, four, five months behind in rent. Now you got to fucking make that money back. So there really isn't any favors. It's like, I got to get the best of the best that I could get up. I got to get laughs. We got to get asses in the seats. I can't throw people a bone right now. I'm sorry. I just can't do it. Yeah, man. It's all, it's all business. It's all business. So, so you um, left, did they? Now I don't understand the rules, right? You left New York and went straight down to South Carolina. Mm-hmm. Did you now? Did you leave? Like, are, are are you not allowed to leave New York? Is that a thing? I mean, I so I've been down here now for like two weeks. Uh, but what I did, I used to work uh, at a doctor's office. So I called him and said, "Hey, I'm thinking about going down because my dad lives down there, and you know, I, I'm in this little tiny apartment." And he was like, "Oh, well, I can get you the test." I was like, "Well, I don't have any symptoms." He's like, "Well, I can get it for you anyway." And I was like, "Eh." I guess I'll feel what it feels like to be a rich piece of shit. Sure, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so like a he, virgin getting an AIDS test. <laughs> yeah, I was like, all right. So he gave me the test, and then it came back within like 14 hours. I got it. Something really? like that. Where some people haven't gotten it back for fucking weeks. So it just shows you like, you know, if you know the right people or if you got money, you're going to get taken care of. So I got the results back, and I, I've just got into a car and just came down. I was like, fuck it. You and know, there was I, no checkpoints, nothing like that? No. There was no checkpoints. There was no nothing. Um, they didn't even shut South Carolina down until Monday of this week. Now, what's the vibe like down there, South Carolina? I got a bunch of listeners down there. And so I, when I say anything I say about there, I mean out of respect. But isn't that like kind of like uh, – like, and I mean this with like I, I respect because I envy rednecks now. Like, I envy that lifestyle of a fucking going out with a bone arrow, catching your fucking dinner for like a few weeks. You know, it, it, is it like how are they? Are they like, ah, eh, fucking god damn, I don't give a shit. I don't care. So, are they taking um, it serious? No, I mean, I think it's just as much as it is anywhere else. Like, even in New York City, people weren't fucking taking it serious. They're I mean, not, they're, man. It's embarrassing. They, you know, it's the same concept everywhere you go. I will say down here. There's definitely not as much fear, per se. Like, people aren't panicking and doing all this. But, like, they're pissed that, you know, I have friends. They're fucking pissed they can't go out on their boat and go fishing. And, you know, they could still go hunting because that's considered essential. So they're fine with that. But, um, yeah, like, they shut down the beaches. They shut down the bars. They did all that stuff. So it's very similar in that sense. But the only difference is down here is, like, what they're getting on unemployment plus the 600 they're never going to want to go back to work. Like, they, yeah, why would you, you ever want to go back to work if you're making that? Because the cost of living is so much cheaper down here. But I'm like, for what you're getting on unemployment plus the extra 600 a week plus the 1200 wh- why would these people want to go back to I'd be fucking furious if I worked at McDonald's or one of those places right now where I got to go to work and I can't get unemployment. Because they're making – some of them are making more money on unemployment than they would be by going to work. The minimum wage down here is like seven dollars and twenty five cents or some shit. Jesus. Oh, they don't. They and the governor down here went fuck. He was pissed. He was pissed that these people are getting the, the twelve hundred check. Yeah. What are you gonna do, man? If, if, if fuck it, if it's there, I mean, it's supposed to be a stimulus package, I think. Right. So basically, what they're hoping is they take that money and put it. I think put it back into the government. Put it back into the economy, which is like I, well, I can do buy fucking twelve hundred dollars worth of masks. How many people? Twelve hundred dollars doesn't cover for I would say for ninety percent plus of people who live in Manhattan, Queens, Harlem, Brooklyn, twelve hundred dollars is one month's rent. Yeah, but you how might many... as well just send that to the fucking landlord? How many people are like fucking gonna be done with their money and go ah fuck it? I didn't like this place anyway. You know what I mean? And go oh, I, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it all. I think what the big thing with it is, especially in the city, is you have a lot of people that are grandfathered into those apartments, so they're paying rent from like the nineties. Was it like rent control or something? Is that what? It was yeah, called? the rent controlled guys. So like the you know, and not to not to use just his name, it's a lot of them. But like you know, the Kushner family has right. been trying to get those people out of those apartments for 
20 fucking years. I mean, you're talking they'll do construction at two o'clock in the morning. They'll they won't come and fix people's apartments when leaks happen like they want them out. You know, these people are paying seven, eight hundred dollars a month. If they get them out and renovate it, they can get three thousand a month for it. So to be honest with you, I think the reason that there's no rent freeze or anything like that is I, I think for the Kushners, for the Trumps, I, this is a jackpot. This is a jackpot to get those people out. Because even, you know, even if you, you are rent controlled and say your rent's only $800 a month, you add that up for three or four months and then they say, hey, you have to pay all this. Nobody is going to have that money. They're not going to be able to pay it. And that's how they're going to be able to evict people that they couldn't evict before. Okay, so you made you almost made that seem like a conspiracy. Uh, you know what? Then, and that's what everybody <laughs> says about it, right? Like, I, and that's why I hate even like that's the problem is like during these things you can't have any type of opinion, right? If you yeah, have an yeah, opinion, yeah. it's a fucking conspiracy. It's like, look, man. I flunked out of junior college. Nobody's listening to me (laughs) talk about the fucking economy, all right? Don't worry about it. It's my personal theory. You asked me the question. I gave it to you. Fuck off. Yeah, but some people some people are like don't have opinions, don't have a form an opinion. They don't they're too lazy to get informed about what's going on. And then they hear a guy like you kind of talk with confidence. And then all of a sudden you'll just go like uh, you go, fuck yeah, that sounds right. And you'll go home and regurgitate what you said, but you'll mess it oh, up. Oh, I know. I was saying time... that to my little brother the other day. I was like, isn't it crazy that like you could just get on Google, right? Somebody tells you something. You can get on Google and see if it's true or not. But if they say it with confidence, you're like, eh, fuck it. Yeah, no. That's got to be real. I'm going to spread that. I'm going to tell my children. They're going to tell their children. That's how, we're, that's how we got this place to begin with. That's why there's so many stupid fucking people. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. That's going to happen. Like, yeah, did you hear Trump is evicting everybody? Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, he's throwing them all at their houses. And that's and that's the big – and that's why I say like when people are like, well, it happened in China and it was this and it was that. I was like, look, man, at this rate, nobody's ever really going to know. Everyone's going to have their theory and that's going to be it. Just let it go. Yeah, I'm watching the show, uh, you know, because I'm, I'm making use of my time. Um, I'm learning Spanish. Uh, Get the fuck out of here. Are you really learning yeah, Spanish? Yeah, I'm learning Spanish. I'm learning chess. I'm playing the guitar a lot more. And I'm actually starting, I think, starting th- next Friday, I go back to school online. Um, I'll talk about that another day. I don't want to go. I'll tell you off air what I'm, what I'm studying. Um, so I'm using the time to, to, like, to really better myself. But there's people out there that are clearly not. Like, clearly, clearly not. And they're the ones that run with those fucking conspiracy theories. But anyway, that, that, that I missed my point. Sorry, the point was I'm watching the show now. Uh, um, a friend, it's an old show with Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, and Carl Pilkington called it Idiot Abroad. I don't know if you've seen that. And I have not. No, I think I've heard of it. Yeah, it's such a good show to take this guy, Carl Pilkington, who's just like an everyday moron. And they, they send him off to the seven wonders of the world. And uh, it's just basically camera crew following this fucking moron around. <laughs> and he goes to China. Now, this, this was made back in 2009. So he goes to China and these people are on the streets and they're eating fucking bats, turtles, frogs, raw. And I'm screaming at the television going, fucking, that's why. They're right there. Because, and he's throwing up watching these people like eating this shit. I'm like, what fucking, I, but I'm racist. I'm fucking racist because I'm pointing <laughs> out what these motherfuckers are eating. Stop that shit. Somebody stop it. Like, why am I fucking like, how am I not allowed to address that? That that's the, I, all, I said the other day to someone I was talking to him, I said, you know, how about this? Right. Be like, you know, it's Ray. Cause yeah, you got nothing to do, man. To say, if to say it's like a disease from China, a virus that came from China to say that and you even called a racist for stating a fact. Yeah. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Like I do not want to fucking do, we can't have this conversation cause you're a moron. But I think my point was that I think any, any country, that owes China money goes, hey, we're good now. All right? We're fucking good. Oh, I, yeah. And, that, and it, I think that's what's slowly fucking happened. They're like, nah, we're good. We ain't giving you shit. Yeah, yeah. Remember that six we're billion? Go- we're going to call you? this even. We're going to call it even. Yeah, All right? Yeah. Take it out of our death total. We're going to call it even. Yeah, you can't, you can't do that. Fucking watch me. Keep complaining. We'll take fucking, we'll take the industry from you too, motherfuckers. So maybe have a fucking peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch instead of a fucking raw bat. <laughs> well, I did just see that they were like, I read like an article in the headline. was like, China passes law that they can no longer eat dogs. And I was like, wait, they've been eating dogs this whole time? <laughs> like, I had no idea. I'm so, I don't know anything. I don't oh, know anything. Oh, yeah, man. I, I saw this thing on, on Inst- fucking Instagram. 
Don't get me started on Instagram, by the way. But fuck me. I, I saw this thing on Instagram, but this guy I follow, uh, I can't remember his name. I don't want to draw on a blank. He's a South African guy. And he just lives with lions, like in the in the in the in this preserve, right? And what he does is he you just shows him walk out there, and these lions are jumping all over him and playing with him and licking him to death. And uh, he said, "I always post nice things, but I'm sorry to post this." And it's a picture of a massive walk and a guy in China and the dog. There's a uh, a live dog in the walk, oh. and it's in like water or whatever. And the guy's just poor, and the, the guy broke the dog's leg so he couldn't jump out. And he's just shoveling fucking water onto it, like to marinate the dog, like in the soup. And the dog is like, arr, 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 and he's just fucking, and the thing is boiling in a wok. And I'm like, how the fuck is that legal? I, it's crazy. I know it's crazy. Dude, it's like I didn't see, I didn't dogs. see. We don't love chickens. Like it's no, not only it's, that dude, but it's fucking. I get it. I get it. Uh, well, there's something about dog. I mean, like I could watch a movie and and 30 people in the movie could die and then a dog dies and I'm like, you know what? I'm out of here. I'm not watching this movie. And this movie's disgusting. I don't know who made this. They should be ashamed of themselves. Dude, they made three John Wick movies on the fact that they killed a dog. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> that is, yeah, I know. I know. Someone like, kills his the dog, dog but, and they're like, "That's it." Now we're going to have the biggest movie franchise of all time. By the third movie, the I was like, "By the third movie, I was like, how did it get to this point?" And someone had to remind <laughs> me. They're like, "Oh, someone killed his dog." I'm like, "He's not <laughs> over it." Already. People are so mad. More Go movies. To the pound to get we, a new dog, John Wick. We're so mad. We want more people to pay. Bring in more Russians to die for that dog I that died. That, that was all over a dog. Don't fucking kill the dog. Jesus Christ. That, you know, you can't do that, man. You can't. Like, anything to make a movie more dramatic. Like, when they... Ki- like, you watch the movie I Am Legend, and you're, like, watching Will Smith. Like, yeah, we get it. You're in New York City by yourself. Big fucking deal. That's awesome. Right, you can go get all these D because that DVDs. There's no downloads at the time. Go to a DVD store, get all the movies you want. Drive any car you want up the street. How cool is that? You can go to Madison Square Garden, shoot hoops. Nobody's going to bother you, right? Everyone's like, "Yeah, who gives a shit?" And then they kill his dog, and oh, while sudden, he's singing Bob Marley, he's got to choke his own dog out. Then like, you're like, "These Fuck. zombies have to die. All these zombies have to die." Oh, they gotta go. They, I can't even <laughs> hear Bob Marley anymore. I'm like, I gotta pour one out for that German <laughs> Shepherd. <laughs> I'm like, everybody pour a little bit of their beer on the ground for that German Shepherd and I am legend. What was his name? I don't think he had a name. Yeah, it didn't. Oh, fuck me. (laughs) Everyone asked me that, though, down here. Like, you know, everybody's like, is it like I am legend up there? I'm like, it's similar. Like, it's similar in, in in a way. Like, Times Square is empty. You know, I had to go into Soho a couple of times, and it was just empty. Except for the subway, but the subway trains were still still busy i was like the fucking subway man are they still running they got to because all those workers from like the bronx and harlem yeah, and yeah, Brooklyn, you know they, right. for them to take you know i was trying to explain that like you know people down here were like well they're fucking idiots why do they keep taking the subway and i, I explained to them i was like i had to go to work one day because the alarm went off and i had a key i was like so you know i took an uber there and i took an uber back and my boss was like hey i know you're only there for like 15 minutes but like take 100 bucks out of the drawer for coming in i really appreciate it so i was like it took it cost me thirty five dollars to get there in an Uber, and it cost me thirty five dollars to get back in an Uber. Now I wasn't expecting to even get paid, so even to make thirty dollars, whatever. But like, if you're going to work and you still have to work, if you make a hundred dollars in a day and you got to take an Uber each way, that's seventy dollars. I mean, you just went to work and made thirty dollars. Yeah, like that's man. not. It's not. You can't do that, and you can't quit your job because then you don't get unemployment. So they still have to take the subway and it's fucked up, but that's just how – like you would think that maybe they do the right thing and I, I don't know, give these people free Uber passes or something, but – Well, that's not right. – I mean who's paying for that then, Uber? That's – yeah. I mean you would I, I, you, you would hope that the city is something, but I mean it is what it is. These people got to go into work. It's – I don't mind you know, like the nurses and stuff, but like what they decided was essential in certain cases is like GameStop. It's like come on. You're going to make these fucking people <laughs> potentially die over a video game that they could download on the PlayStation and Xbox from home? You're pieces of shit, man. Uh, I, yeah, but, it, but what's, the, what's the alternative? Let them go? You know? You, well, you close, you close the doors and let them get unemployment until they reopen. That's, that's, what a lot, you know, that's what all the bars and restaurants had to do. They kept, like, for the ones that were doing takeout, they kept, like, one or two employees. 
And then they, they let the rest get unemployment. You know, at that rate, it's like one point. But for GameStop, and then they didn't give them gloves and masks. They sent them a memo that was like, hey, if you got to take a credit card, put your hand in one of the plastic bags and grab the credit card. I was like, what? You're making these people go to work? You're not even going to give them masks or gloves or nothing? Yeah, I'm not I'm not in the mask situation yet. Like I kind of haven't bought into it cuz I from the reports I've heard it only helps if you have a mask only helps if you have corona. Now I could be wrong. There could be people screaming at the phones or radios Dude, or whatever. Dude, I flew back from I flew right back now. from Thailand and I didn't have a mask. And the woman, were you did you come back join all this stuff? I came back. It, we hadn't we I think we hadn't had a case in the United States yet, but Wuhan was like getting slammed, which sucks. He's like, I, I went on this show. I've always wanted to go to Thailand. I finally go to Thailand. I have this amazing time. I get back and people are like, why are you tan? I'm like, oh, I slipped and fell in the <laughs> oven at work. Can you tell? Like, I didn't tell a soul. They were like, I heard you went to Thailand. I was like, I don't know who the fuck's telling you that. That's a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, you, you couldn't even talk like, about it, man. Like I told one person, they'd like step back three feet, and I was like, "Dude, it's already too late. Like you got it if I got it." Yeah, man. It's uh, but the mask thing, from what I've heard, is that it 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 only helps if you have it, right? So it doesn't prevent you from getting it as far. Well, as that's what the big issue was too, with like people getting fucked up on the train and like people getting threatened because they came out and they were like, only wear the mask if you have it. But you, you have a lot of people, obviously, mainly in the Asian culture, that they wear the mask on the subway every day. Every day. Yeah, anyway. Like, this is anyway. nothing new to them. So they were getting harassed, obviously. And they're like, dude, I wear a mask every day on the train. Like, they always have them on. So it's not... Yeah, because China, before all this happened, like, just their pollution is so bad. That they always wear masks. You always see that. Like China's the one, one of the one place on my bucket list that I want to visit before I die. Um, I was originally like supposed area. to go through Wuhan when I went to Thailand. Really? And they, they changed That's funny. my flight and I had to go through Hong Kong. Look at you. I know. Um, but yeah, I've always wanted to go. Uh, but like every time you see it, like I wanted to go up to the, I wanted to go to Great Wall. I wanted to go up the mountains, the rural areas of that. You know what I mean? I've always wanted to go because, like, uh, you know, I'm a big martial arts fan, uh, kung fu fan, and I would have loved to have gone, like, way up, the, you know, where there's no population, that type of thing, those type of vacation or those type of trips. Um, but you've always seen, like, Hong Kong people constantly wearing masks anyway, regardless, you know? But I, I it's like the people, like, I, I bought, so here's what I bought for, for my kids because I thought, like, you know, like, ba- like a bandana. I was like, all right, here's, why don't you get bandanas tied around your face when you're out, like, at least when you're riding your bikes. I let my kids go out, like, when there's no one around, like, go ride your bikes, and, like, put the, ba- put the bandana on. You never know. It's not going to hurt. You look cool. Worst, best thing that will happen is you look like you're in the Latin Kings. <laughs> um, right? <laughs> so I go to a woman, and she's behind the counter, right, at this, like, gas station where I bought them, and I go, can I get two bandanas? They're, like, two for $4. Can I get two bandanas, please? Give me two black ones, Right? And she goes, okay, okay. And she's got the mask on, the gloves. And the gloves are no good for, to protect her. They don't protect us because her gloves, she's touching shit with the same gloves over and over. So then she takes it out. One of the, she takes out the plastic bag and she opens it up and she starts taking them out. I said, what are you doing? I said, what, why are you touching them? Now I got to wash them. If you'd left them in the plastic, the two in the plastic, you fucking idiot, then I wouldn't. Now I got to take these fucking bandanas home and wash them now. Put them through the machine before I take them back out again. Like, do your fucking part, assholes. Jesus. Yeah, I mean, that's one thing that I don't really see. I had to go to Walmart the other day down here. And, you know, some people had masks, but it's not a big, there's not a huge concern down here like it is. But that's because nobody's really, the numbers aren't really high down here. But I tried telling my friends, I was like, yo, man, I'm telling you, like, just be careful because you, like, in New York, it was like, I went to bed one night. I woke up the next night. And I was like, "Oh, half the city's dead!" Like it's it just happened so quickly in New York City. Yeah, but you're you're also um, it's also hot down there, right? It is. Like, well, it's yeah, it's been hot. Now they're supposed to get a tornado. Yeah, we got yeah. news that there's supposed to be a tornado coming through today. My stepmom's like, "There's a tornado coming." I was like, "Mary, I don't give a fuck. I don't have time for that. I don't. I don't <laughs> give a fuck anymore." Like, I'm a New Yorker. I'll shoot. yeah. I was like, I don't. I don't care. I don't care. 
That's You're like, yeah, go fuck yourself, tornado. Um, but that's another reason why, too, right? It's not spreading. Like, I got, I got like friends in Texas, too, and they're like, yeah, who gives a shit? It, 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 we're, we're following all the laws of the land here, but it's not. It didn't nobody, even. Like, I got, I, it didn't. They just closed down last Monday. Like, I was here for, I don't know, four days. Like, I had already broken quarantine to go out and fuck around with somebody. I was like, well, technically, my dad was like, well, technically, there's no quarantine down here yet. So you didn't break quarantine. I was like, all right, good. I'm good. I'm good to go. Yeah, but it's it's like eventually they'll lock it all down. They though, did. You can't they did on Monday. They... On Monday, they shut it all down. So what happens? You just can't like I couldn't drive down and drop up. Where are you going? See Kenny? You like, could, but that's the thing. You could around. like all that bullshit. Like we were so nervous driving through Virginia. Like they made it seem like it was very, you know, and then like. They're like, oh, if you're in Rhode Island, they come in the house and they get, I'm like, this is crazy. And then when I drove down, it was nothing. Like, I was like, is this just rumors? Yeah. Like, yeah, I figured myself, like, I'm going to go see Kenny, but I got to get a fake so Yeah, uh, no, it's a, a bunch of bullshit. Car, and I'm going to hide under a bunch of Colts in my backseat. Just... What the, when we did rent the car, we were like, um, my sister's boyfriend rented the car and he was like, you give me a license plate that doesn't say New York on it. And they were like, yeah, okay. <laughs> so I think it said Massachusetts or I, it was Massachusetts. I was like, hey, that's just fucking bad. But I guess it's not New York. Yeah, because in Ireland right now, there's a case because Wexford, where I'm from, is basically like the Florida of Ireland. Like it's it's one of the biggest tourist attractions for Irish people. Do you know what I mean? Like people don't fly in to go to Wexford. But Wexford, to me, is one of the most beautiful fucking counties in all of Ireland, but only Irish people visit it, right? We don't advertise it anywhere, so it's like a secret only for Irish people. So what happens is, like, a lot of, like, Dublin people who have, like, vacation homes and stuff down there, now the cops are all out blocking roads, and the people drive down with their fucking camper vans, and they're like, nope, turn your fucking ass around. We got 20 cases in this town. Dublin has 3,000. Get the fuck out of it. Like, it's legit. It's legit (laughs) racist towards Dublin people. Now we're like... Turn what? around, get the fuck out. I'm like, yeah, I was down here. My buddy's like, yeah, let's out. go for a run. I was like, all right, man, let's go for a run. I haven't run in a while. So we ended up running like five miles, but we, we stopped. Someone stopped him. He's like, oh, how you been? Blah, blah, blah. He's like, oh, this is my friend Kenny. He's in town from New, New York. And the person <laughs> you could just see. We walked away. I was like, all the motherfucking states in this country. You can't say any other state. I was like, you could even say I'm from one of the Dakotas. I don't give a shit. Like, it's not even necessary to have two Dakotas. They both suck. Tell him I'm from there. Just anywhere. Just say I'm not from New York City. And he said, like, and then. 20 minutes later, he's like, oh, it's my buddy Kenny. He's the town from New York. <laughs> and a lot of people don't even, a lot of people, like a lot of Americans don't even know their own country. So you could say New York. Oh, I'm like, God, yeah, dude, and you could sounded say normal. anything. Yeah, he's from Just New don't Chicago. Don't say New York. That's it. <laughs> Is, Every I bump Kenny from New like, Boston. Where are you from? All of a sudden, Nobody. I have an accent from the middle, from fucking the middle of South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have got to go back to it, but I have got to hear you speak Spanish in an Irish accent. That's the funniest fucking thing I've ever. Yeah, heard I'm gonna. Too. I'm going I'm. I'm. Whip, I always do it to my daughter because she learns Spanish. All I'm I know. All I know is como esta. And, like, oh, and I always say it. With, I say it sometimes with such confidence. Like when I walk in the kitchen, I'm like como esta, and the cook will be like, "Hey, wait a minute, no, 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 no," and I'm like, "Oh, uh, como esta." <laughs> <laughs> like I say it with such El kitchen. Like, oh, he speaks fluent Spanish, and I'm like, that's all I know is como esta. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I, I I walk into my daughter, like, and she'll bury me. And I go, I walk in, like, yeah, bonus nachos, baby. And then she like, like oh, bonus, they talk. Like, I know. I'm like, am I? Did I just like, watch Telemundo? You. What the fuck are you saying? And then at the end, I'm just like, <laughs> bueno. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, uh, I'll I'll build up enough stuff, and I'll, I I want to start calling some of my Spanish friends. How are you talking. doing? It? That's like, the way you doing. Really you doing like an, you you're one of those people. You get yeah. I was gonna say you. I just those, down. I downloaded every time app. I see you. You're like yeah. Now I play the guitar. I'm like oh, how'd you learn that? You're like I downloaded the app. Now you speak. Yeah. Spanish. Every time I talk to you, it's like something. I'm waiting for you to be like I'm going to the moon. Yeah, I took. I, I got this app. And it showed me how to join NASA. <laughs> I'm an astronaut now, so I'm gonna go to the moon. Just an app, just a regular yeah. app. You're yeah, obsessed man. with those motherfucking things. Your phone yeah, must a... have six thousand apps on it. 
Oh, your phone is, oh, I got your phone shit. is I like, like, I'm right, exhausted. Well, I got... You got to delete. I got no more room left. I'm <laughs> family members out. I wouldn't do this <laughs> podcast if it wasn't for This apps, app is man, good, I'm though. This, this one. What's it? Anchor? Anchor, you yeah, always yeah, got to throw works, the name right? out. Maybe, maybe Anchor, Anchor will throw you 25 works. cents. Well, they can. I refuse oh, to okay. take what the advertising. Do? Does the advertising like stop it in the middle? I I have to read Done. an advertising it off. and then it, it gets recorded and it gets dropped. I haven't in the watched my, a full it gets, yeah, yeah. clip so, on uh, Facebook in a year and a half. Like I'll watch a video, I'll be really into it, and then I'll see the little yellow circle coming up for the ad, and then I'm like, well, not watching the rest of this. I will not watch an ad in the middle of a video. Because some of this shit is insane. Like, I'll watch a video, man, that's really sad, right? Or some, like, injustice been done. And then all of a sudden, it will stop in the middle of some some kid getting beat by, by fucking a biker gang. And they'll go to, like, hey, <laughs> yeah, this new fertilizer for your lawn. Like, like, go, go, go no, back what to makes me even more mad well, about I'm it is, like, the shit about your fertilizer. Like, I'll be like, hey, Mick, I got these new fucking shoes, these new Pumas. And then I'm watching a video in the middle of a heartfelt video. It's like, buy these Pumas. I'm like, stop listening to my conversations first. Second of all, stop fucking interrupting my video. Yeah. Yes, and this poor kid is getting mugged, and you're one. You know what? Now every time I go to a fucking hardware store and I see your compost, <laughs> I don't think about you. I think about that poor kid, and I'm not. Dude, I scroll down immediately. I, I haven't watched the full down. video. No matter how much I'm into it, I'm like, fuck it. I'll just be left on the suspense. Yeah, but I, I think that's our attention span. I've said this before. I tried to get this to work on stage, where it's like, like we even you watch porn now. Like our attention span is so bad. Remember when you were younger and you found like a, a porn, like you discovered like a, a DVD or a video and you would watch that all the way through, right? It could be an hour and a half. Now, if you turn on one, right, you'll see a picture of one of the most beautiful women who's about to get naked. I know. Like, you go six minutes, minutes in. That. You go right to like, the porn you, you want to hit. An <laughs> angel. <laughs> yeah, you go, Dude, ah, I grew up watching scrambled watching fucking porn. Half an inch away from my television, <laughs> just watching it, I'd be like, "Oh, is that a? Oh my God, it's a nipple, nipple, nipple! Is that a? Is that a titty or a forehead? <laughs> oh, a dick! Gross! That's oh, what I grew up shit, with. And then every once in a while, shit, you'd like be in the woods with your friends and come across like a dirty magazine that you're like, "All right, whoever's out here jacking, I'm glad that they left this out here for us." Yeah, I talked about that before on one of the early episodes. Like, when you found a magazine in the woods, like, no, 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 it. no, you never, you know what I mean? It. Like, you would think, you no. would think a guy would go, I'm bringing this home, I'm gonna hide it in my shed. Every time I get a chance, I'm gonna go home, have a wank. Now it's like, it's like, it's a sacred, it was a sacred everybody, thing. Like, you leave that there for the next knew, one. All the guys, like, knew like it's like, it was like, like when I would go into school the next day at the lunch table, they'd be like, yo, did anybody watch Scramble Porn at 11 15 last night? I'm like, dude, I saw a whole titty a whole right titty he's like i saw it too i saw it too <laughs> yeah man take it, it was but that found magazine man was take a penny leave a penny for porn or just you left it there um and you you were usually you never saw you all saw with your friends so you just nobody did anything you're just like oh that's cool right yeah keep going well that's Turn why these young kids are such fucking second. freaks right. too man <laughs> Like I, there are everybody's lick, like I that's what true. Movies, but he's like everybody is licking everybody's asshole. I'm like that's true. Everybody's licking everybody's asshole. Like it's a normal anal is a normal. If you're not doing anal, you're a prude. It's like we I didn't grow up with that shit. Like we, yeah. My kids are very easy to talk to. You know what I mean. And the problem is, I, I saw this on an HBO show, not a documentary, but it was a good point about. You know who's the chick from Spider Man played uh, uh, Mary oh, Jane, the new Spider. I don't know the new the one, new Mary Jane. I don't know. She's okay. She's okay. Uh, I, I can race. see her she's face, but white. I don't know her name. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't know her name, so I'm sorry if you're listening to this. <laughs> Get your name. Um, but she talks about the one like it's just like the opening scene is just girls getting choked and spit on in their face. <laughs> I'm like, so now I got to talk to my daughter, and I got to be like, that's not. That's not what it is, sweetheart. You can't just do – you can't do that. Like, it's it's funny because I had a bit before – I was working on before we closed down for the world shutdown. And it was about, like, how sex ruined the relationship with my daughter because, like, my, my daughter's, like, 13 now. And it's, like, when she was seven, she would come in – and she would like, she like, yeah, daddy's home. Hi, daddy. Daddy, can you help me? Now if my daughter says to me, like, today, today, I went and I put 
fucking air in her tire. She called me up. She's like, hey, daddy. I'm like, you don't call me that. My before. sister you said that to my, my She's Thomas like, dad, come play on. Monopoly. Come play Monopoly. Like, no. She's like, daddy, come play Monopoly. I was like, Megan. I like screamed across the room. She's like, what? I go, don't you ever, ever say that word in front of me again. Do you understand me? She goes, well, he is. I'm his daughter. You call I'm me like, Harold. You, I'm, I'm a Harold. I up in my mouth. I had to swallow it. It's Easter. Don't fucking do that again. <laughs> Oh, it's crazy. It, dude, fucked it's, up, it's, it's, it's fucked up. It, and I mean, I'm 33 yeah. years old and single, right? So it's like, it's, it's weird. It's yeah. really fucking like when I, when I meet somebody my own age and like sleep with somebody my own age, it's almost relaxing. Like, I'm like, this is nice. I don't have to know what polyamorous is. I don't have to, right. you know, like it's not. And then with young people, I'm like, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm getting in for. Am I going to wake up in a bathtub and my fucking insides are going to be missing? Like, they, you just, they're out of their minds, dude. I didn't even know what polyamorous was. This girl was like, I'm polyamorous. I was like, I'm yeah, this chick- Ryan. Is that Greek? Like, I don't, I, I it's where you, what is this that? is what she describes it to me as. She goes, I go, what the fuck is polyamorous? She goes, I have multiple lovers. And I was like, first of all, you're 21 years old. Okay, so you just like dick. And there's nothing wrong with that. You're 21 years old. Just like dick. You don't need a word. Yeah. My opinion is no one likes to be called a slut, so they just made the word polyamorous. It's, it's fucking ridiculous. It's like. Well, that's it, because you can hide behind that's the word. That's what it now, is. People yeah. are protected. Right. Because if you if you're a thing, if you're a thing, like if you go to work and say something like that, like, oh, yeah, this person will sleep with that one. That one, that person, the other person like, well, I'm polyamorous. How dare you make fun of our people? Like, wait, why? Yeah, that's my thing. Like, I, I tell people all the time, I'm like, like dude, I'm a fun. grown adult. Sorry. I play ta- pay taxes. I'll fuck whoever I want to fuck. Like, I don't have to make excuses. It's young. It's it's young kids. Yeah, I pay taxes. Because when you're young, reason. you don't want like nobody is called a slut later in life like nobody's at work and they're like oh karen's such a slut you'd cut them off you'd be like first of all karen's divorced she pays a mortgage she's got two kids karen likes dick who gives a shit leave her the fuck alone you piece of shit you prude yeah man. but as, I, in high school you call someone a slut I, everybody else I calls them a slut my, you know what i mean like but i tell yeah, yeah it's, it's bullshit. the rule it's you gotta follow it it's, it's bullshit jealousy it's bullshit. is what it is when you're young right someone yeah, someone's I, getting laid and you're not you're like you fucking of course slut. it is you're this you're that or yeah. it's not that, or it's like they're afraid of it, which is fine. Like, you, you know what well, I mean? They they're afraid, afraid of, of it, it no more, Mick. I'll tell you that what much, they man. don't understand. So it's Jesus. like, they, I felt my first boob at yeah, like, I, I don't even know what age I was. And these kids are like, at what age? They're like, oh, I was getting blowjobs at nine. I'm like, what? Yeah, sorry to break that to you. I forget you Jesus have kids. Christ. Yeah, you gotta, you, 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 yeah, yeah, stop it. You gotta talk. But I talk to my kids all the time. Like, I was talking, like, my daughter, I was at the other day, I was running and she was skateboarding where I was running. I came in and we just immediately just start talking, start talking about drugs to me. I'm like, yeah, you know what, sweetheart? Like, I, I'm like, you're, you're gonna be faced with it. Like, I just have to be, but you have good kids though, right? Like, you don't, you're not worried and then, like, you know, yeah. yeah. I have really good kids, man. I'm really, I'm really lucky. I'm really lucky I have that. But like, I think the the factor is that I talk to them and I'm not embarrassed. And like, even when it comes to like, like with sex and stuff, like even my daughter, she's really good at that joke. Um, with something so simple, like like the other day, uh, my son just kind of said something like, I, he was getting something from a drawer. He goes, "Dad, Dad, I got two fingers." <laughs> and my daughter went, "That's what she said." And She's thirteen, nah, you gotta. but it's like you gotta laugh with that, and so yeah. let your daughter, yeah, yeah, let your daughter know, like let your kids know that, like, hey, man, I know that you know, so let's just like let's not abandon. I'm not burying my head in the sand and go, sweetheart, you go find out all that. But it's yourself. gotta be, we- it's gotta you go be find weird. out all. I mean, obviously, I don't have that kids. It's gotta be weird having a son and a daughter, right? Because when your daughter like mentions something, you're like, Jesus Christ, don't talk like that, blah 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 blah. But when it's your son is that age, you're like, that's my boy. You know what I mean, like. Not for me. It's not like that, man. I always talk. I talk to my daughter, like to my son. Like if he talks to his sister that way, I'm like, you don't talk to it. You know what I mean? Like you don't speak to. Your I mean, more in the sense of like know, dating and you, stuff. Like when your daughter you brings home women. her first boyfriend, you're gonna be like, I might have to kill this guy. But when your son brings home his first girlfriend, you're not gonna give a shit. You know what, man? I think I've had so much conversation with my daughter. Like I'm not worried when she brings. My only problem is that like I try to teach my daughter. Like I can't tell her. Well, you get in more trouble life. when you do that. I they turn into even bigger assholes. You gotta go here. Yeah, yeah, like it's you can't you can't do that. You know what I mean? Like, so what I what I do is like I just teach her about stuff, and that's really what you. That's, yeah, that's, that's what everybody I can should kind of do. I mean, home. 
no, uh, to tell someone they can't do this, they can't do that, but to build them up, I think, and give them self respect uh, and let them know that, like, if anything happens, like, I can come to him instead of keeping it from him. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, that's I mean, all that's you how can my dad was, can't stop was him. with me for sure. He was like, You're a fucking idiot. You know, like, when you get in trouble, you're a fucking idiot. But he's like, He'd rather know about it than it be hidden because that's how you get in more trouble. That's how you, you know. Yeah, man. It's not a. It's not a, it, it's not one of the fun aspects of being a parent, but it's also cool though. Especially, like I said, my kids have been cool. Well, they have a great one mother, because yeah. I, I, I talk to them, and it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers for all that credit, you cunt. Uh, I don't ever. Anyway, man, I think we. Should I was just about to say well, when you started, you were like done. Yeah, it's gonna be done. 25 minutes, and I looked down. I was like, "Shit, we're going on an hour." And you're like, "Hey, man, don't. This is my favorite. This is my favorite." Yeah, line man. You gave me this you like, man, don't be nervous. Just be your. You go. You go. Don't worry about being funny. <laughs> Just be yourself. I was like, "Oh, really? Okay. Thanks a lot, asshole." <laughs> Yeah, but man, I this is why, like, originally when I started the show, and we'll wrap it up on this kind of comment, but the reason why I started the show was for me to kind of get material out there to fo- force myself to talk. And then everything happened, and I said, I'm going to turn out three episodes a week just to be, like, I can sit on my ass right now and watch TV, but instead I said, you know what, let me get up off my ass and be creative, right? So I said, I never really wanted to have comics on because... Like, there's nothing worse than a comic who's trying to be funny all the time. It's fucking, it's horrendous. That's someone that tries to be funny, that's not on stage. So that's why I kind of, any comic on the show is like, yeah. my friend first. You know what I mean? That I know are not going to be these fucking, like, yeah, these no, I know. Go, hey, wait, wait, what's the deal with? Like, I just, that, that's all I want, you know? And, I, and someone like you, it's like easy to talk to. Well, I don't, don't want to admit that I'm public. How many out. followers you got? You know, so it's like, <laughs> well there's listeners and followers are different <laughs> no i absolutely i agree i don't like uh, uh yeah, yeah so I, I, and then it, there's too much pressure sometimes when you have like a specific this is what we're talking about we're only talking about this we're all it's like fuck i've been thinking about it for fucking three days and i'm just jumping in right now like so sometimes i you know when yeah, and it's weird with some podcasts. They're like, well, yeah, yeah, that's the all it should I be. Have, and this is what we're going to talk about. And it's like, all right, man, well, you're just telling me that now. We're starting in 30 seconds. You've had a 30 day head start on me. What the fuck are we? How am I going to say anything on this? Yeah, but man, nobody thinks better on the flight than comics. Nobody does, right? Nobody can elaborate and that, more than just that's think a, on their not feet that there's along with, that. with you know comics you know. that stick to their straightforward pop 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 pop. I don't have anything wrong with that, but I always I, you know my favorite comics I have to have a the theme, yeah, always, have a theme like, to the wow, show. Comics of Beast are the ones that can just fucking boom, you know, like they they just they turn it, yeah, and they just go, and they're like, yeah, turn on the microphone know, I, was, I wanted go. to talk about this, and it didn't go that way, so I went in this route and murdered. I'm like, this that's so talented to be able to do that you know i miss it yeah man that's what it's uh that's that's the goal anyway do you have anything you want to yeah man to get back on there it'll be sooner hopefully rather than later but is there uh, uh yeah you, you can follow me your uh, instagram K-R-Y-N-15 stuff coming up or... on instagram kenny ryan on facebook I don't do uh twitter i like tried to do it and then i was like fuck this man yeah, I like I, I'm on I don't Twitter. Like it, so. Don't like it. Yeah, don't like it. Don't like it. Anyway, Kenny, listen, cheers for coming in, man. I appreciate you joining on. Oh, I'm not hanging uh, up. Don't hang up just yet, Kenny. But uh, for the rest of you, yeah, yeah, for the rest of you, uh, thanks so much for listening. Any comments, concerns, any emails you want to send, send them to my Instagram, Mick Thomas Comedy, and uh, I'll answer any questions, comments, or concerns. Thanks so much for listening. I appreciate you. Be safe and be kind to each other. Take care. Good luck to you. Good luck to you.